What's up YouTube? It's Awana Turtle and today we have a collection box opening as well as some new PSA cards to show off. <clears throat> so I just want to remind you if that you if you are looking to support the channel, um, you can do that for free just by hitting that subscribe button, uh, hit the bell for notifications. If you are already subscribed, hit that like button just to because it does help promote the channel and the video. <clears throat> uh, follow me on Instagram. I am going to be posting lots of pictures of my growing collection. And if you're looking for online code cards, uh, let me know in a comment below or hit me up on Instagram and I'll definitely hook you up. So today we have a Duskmane Necrozma Premium Collection Box, which we'll be getting into. <clears throat> as far as collection boxes go, I do like this one. It kind of has everything that I like and it doesn't have the stuff that I don't like, which is primarily the coins. Those do not do anything for me. However, this one does, whoa, what is this? never seen this before I'm not sure what purpose this has but that's pretty cool <clears throat> um, but yeah as far as the, the the cool promo stuff we got two cards and we got that jumbo card so for the pro whoa these are super warped but we got a dustman necrozma and the dawn wings we got the jumbo card I really like this art for this Duskmane Necrozma. It's really cool. It's right here. This cool little Pokeball thing right there. Uh, cool figurine, or I'm not sure what to call it, but uh, yeah, the Duskmane Necrozma. It's very cool. So I like that. And a pin, which I'm growing to appreciate more and more, the pins that come in these collection boxes. And of course, the main core, and the main point is these um, the packs that it comes with, <clears throat> as far as this one goes, oh, yeah, I do have a code card for this collection. So we got five packs. We got a Breakthrough, Ancient Origins, Crimson Invasion, and Forbidden Light. <clears throat> Not the best set of packs, but five packs and all this other goodies, pretty good. This was from a sale on Best Buy, where essentially it was basically 50% off. Uh, so let's go through the PSA cards first. So this was uh, just some recent additions or acquisitions that I had uh, from eBay. So we got a couple Japanese cards first. This first one is, <clears throat> is from the Gym Challenge Tournament and is a PSA 10. So these metal cards are very rare as in because they only created so many of them for the winners of the tournaments. So this is from 2007. Pretty cool. This over here. And then we got, uh, we showed this card before, but so I did acquire another PSA 9 Rayquaza Pancho Pikachu. And on a similar vein, we got the Pikachu Impersonators. And this one's actually a PSA 10, which is very nice. So he's kind of like got that uh, Team Skull uh, emblem in the back. So now we're moving on to English. And our first card is a first edition Lieutenant Surge PSA 9. So we are moving into that Watsi area. Uh, the year is 2000. And we have a first edition Giovanni's Persian. So this card is really cool because my understanding is that look at all that foiling, all that sparkly. Uh, this card's actually very difficult to grade. I think the population for the PSA 10 is actually very low. And then we got Erica's Venusaur. This is not, this is unlimited, uh, but Erica's Venusaur I think is one of the more popular ones from Gym Challenge. So PSA 9 there, very nice. Rockets Moltres. This one's only a PSA 8, but Rockets Moltres, I think, is uh, one of the cooler ones from that set. <clears throat> Although, it does have very low HP. The Rocket stuff always 6 HP, for just for a legendary bird. Alright, moving on to Fossil. This is a very nice hit. We have a Dragonite First Edition Hollow PSA 9. Okay, now on to base. So we are going shadowless, really back, far back. Uh, Clefairy, PSA 7, near mint. Shadowless, near mint. Very nice. Okay, base set unlimited, Magneton, PSA 9. Uh, I, I mentioned this in a previous video, but if you're looking for a base set thing to collect, the PSA 9, uh, you know, minus the Charizard, Venusaur, and Blastoise, like the rest of the cards are very obtainable. In similar vein, we got the Mewtwo, PSA 9. 
I think this one is not that expensive because you can actually get the Mewtwo from, oh no, uh, from one of the starter decks. So we have two more cards. We have another Shadowless Raichu near mint to mint. And the last one is another Magneton. This one is Mint 9. Magneton Shadowless from base set. So, very cool. And if you do like to, oh, continue to, if you want me to continue to post these PSA things, just let me know in the comments. All right, so on to the packs. We got a breakthrough to start. Ah, after opening a lot of team up, these packs open nice and easily. So let's see, let's breakthrough code. And breakthrough XY era, I think it's just three. Frogadier, Hunter, Gramble, Snover, Rufflet, Scatterbug, Cacnea, Snubble. Ooh, all right, we do have a break card and Chestnut Break. In case you didn't know, the way the break cards work, you had to get to the Chestnut and then you could put the break card on top. It kind of like evolves, but uh, is the same same Pokemon and then our rare is a Parasect the break cards never really work much but I found them very very cool especially when it came in the reverse slot it was just like a bonus that you could get for every pack even if you got the like the the code card the color that made made was you were pretty sure you weren't getting anything you could still catch something on that break all right next pack we got an Eco Arm, Lucky Helmet, Ariados, Relicanth. One cool thing about opening some of the older sets is that they have like species that Sun and Moon. I feel like a lot of repeating species, and then there are some that just like are completely excluded from the entire era. So that's one one cool thing about opening some of the older stuff. So we have a Volcarona Reverse, and then a Regirock. So nothing great there. All right, on to Crimson Invasion. Back to Sun and Moon. <clears throat> Crimson Invasion was a set that I didn't open up a whole lot of ever. All right, we got a Fire Energy, Mawile, Larian, Larian. Uh, the Aeron was one of the first shiny non-community day things I got in Pokemon Go. Skeeto. Starly, Nummel, Chimecho, Bunnelby. For the reverse, we have a Selgore. I am not familiar with this Pokemon. Selgore, very interesting. Ooh, Guzzlord. Very nice. So we have a Guzzlord GX. <laughs> so this card is interesting. Uh, so one cheesy strategy. I tried in the online game was simply had oh but I think I only had a couple Guzzlords but basically you play this with a bunch of dark energies and depending on how long it takes you to hit the Guzzlord your opponent will probably have too many cards and will win in their hand however basically eat sloppily one turn slap on a bunch of darkness energy because that's all you have in your deck and then you're doing 180 damage every turn very cheesy uh, very inconsistent but a very funny strategy all right, on to Forbidden Light. Forbidden Light was a set that I feel like kind of fell flat for me. Breaks in Mysterious Treasure, but this is one of the better cards from that set. Uh, it's kind of like a better version of Ultra Ball, but it was only for certain types. Skiddo, Froakie. Helioptile, Pancham, I like that art. Much, I prefer this much better to that clay, uh, clay art in Tag Team. Bergmite, ooh, there we go. And for the, ooh, Diantha, Rare Hollow. So, Hollow Trainers, it still catches me off guard. But very nice. All right, for the final pack of the opening, we have another Forbidden Light. So far, I don't have any full arts or anything like that, although we do have a GX. So we got a Judge, Krogunk, Esper, Bunnelby, Honedge, 
Execute, Reverse Bergmite, and for the last pack, for the last rare card in the opening, we got a Meow Stick. That is very underwhelming. Okay, yeah, what do you? Can it, someone tell me what this is for? I find this, I don't know, kind of cool, but I'm just not sure what to do with it. I mean, I'll put it on the fridge or something. So thanks for watching guys. Uh, so we did go through some PSA cards. We did open a collection box. If you did enjoy this kind of like variation thing, let me know in the comments. Other than that, thanks for watching. Appreciate all the support and I'll catch you guys next time. Later.